Hi guys, it's Kristen. I am sister number two from Six Sister Stuff. And yes, we really are six sisters. No, we have no brothers. Yes, we are all blood related. And no, we are not sister wives. We get that a lot. Just thought I'd clear the air. Today we are making one of my most favorite desserts. It is called Caramel Pumpkin Poke Cake. So today we are doing a collaboration with one of my sweet friends. Let's call her Chef Alicia. She is from the YouTube channel Best Bites Forever and she really is a culinary chef. She is also a mother of six so she definitely knows what she's doing in the kitchen. But today Alicia is sharing a delicious pumpkin cheesecake recipe that literally makes my mouth water just looking at it. So she's sharing her pumpkin recipe on her YouTube channel and we're sharing our caramel pumpkin poke cake on our channel. So be sure to check out both pumpkin recipes and subscribe to both channels. Now down below I have a link to Alicia's pumpkin cheesecake recipe. Make sure you click on that to go over to her channel to check it out. Let's go make this caramel pumpkin poke cake. You are going to love it. Let's go. So first you're going to crack your eggs and put four of them into a bowl. Then add one and two thirds cup of sugar. Next, you're going to add one cup of vegetable oil. Then a smaller can of pumpkin. So this comes in two sizes, the big can, the smaller can. You're gonna add the smaller can, which is about 15 ounces. And just put that all in with the rest of it. Then mix it really well. So then you're going to add your two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now these are your dry ingredients. You can sift them all together, but I just throw them in. And then just one teaspoon of baking soda. Then I have my cinnamon, so it's two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and then just one teaspoon of salt. You don't have to use the whole teaspoon. I did about half a teaspoon. Then mix it really well. Then I have a 9 by 13 pan that I'm going to spray with cooking spray and then just dump your batter into the pan. Then spread it around so it's pretty even and then you're going to stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Once you're all done baking it, you're going to take the other end of a wooden spoon or a fork and poke holes in it. I like the bigger holes because then when I drizzle my caramel on top, um, it seeps into this cake a little bit better. Then spread the caramel around the best you can, getting it into the little holes. Now let's make the frosting. So I have a container of Cool Whip and I use the whole entire container. Next I use cream cheese. I use not the fat-free kind because it mixes a little bit better. Then just add two cups of powdered sugar and mix it with your beaters. Mix it for about two minutes till it's nice and smooth. Then you're just going to put it on top. You want to make sure that your cake is pretty much cooled when you do this or else it will melt down into the holes with the caramel. And then just spread it around the best that you can. Then I like to put crushed pecans on top along with a little caramel drizzle as you're serving each individual piece. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can watch some more of our other favorite videos. See you later.